beware when God appears to you and say you are highly favored because sometimes what follows that statement is controversy read your Bible he said you are highly favored you thought that immediately after that you will see people who come together with gifts and say Mary you mean God appeared to you the favor of God can be very controversial and he calls it favor how do you explain that you are pregnant and yet you claim you are a virgin and instead of God to now speak and defend you he now keeps quiet learn how to live in the silence of God my dear people Joseph went to the prison and he stayed there even in his confusion and pain he was in the will of God and one day watch this he saw two people and he interpreted their dreams and he said please when you go to Pharaoh he didn't say tell him to make me king uh -uh. he said all I want is to get out of this place please tell Pharaoh I'm innocent and the man got there guess what happened he forgot him two years if you are Joseph and you come out and become prime minister who is the first person you are going to deal with you will first deal with the wine presser followed by Potiphar's wife when he became king it was unnecessary when when the will of God is manifest in your life there are battles that become unnecessary you have won are you learning this now so after two years in patience the voice of God was about to come let me tell you even when you enter the season of his voice you will not know you are that close it will be one morning and then the king sent for fair for Joseph just like somebody came for koinonia here tonight you don't know that the, the the voice of his majesty after 10 years after 15 years after 20 years after five years after two months finally his majesty is about to speak sit down let me tell you how god speaks when god is speaking to end your seasons he does not come as a still small voice read your bible when it has to do with bringing your season to an end he comes in majesty he will do things that will let them it will be impossible to doubt that he's the one that came hallelujah and on that morning joseph got up in the morning how are you dear prisoners how are you joseph god bless you ah it's been a long time two years Plus, we don't know how long he stayed in the prison. We know that the two years was from the time the one presser left. So, X number of years plus two years. He didn't know that that morning he would be prime minister. The, gate, the jailer did not know he was going to open the gate for his boss. Hear me? While you are praying and trusting God, Lord, if you will only give me a job of 200,000, I will be grateful the day the voice of God comes to honor you for being patient through the season of silence somebody will call you and say I'm leaving Nigeria I've been looking for someone to head my company can you come and do it for me and you will think it's a lie that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that three please sit down the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I'm sure his heart was beating when he came to stand because they didn't tell him why they asked him to come out. If a king should send for you from prison, you are either going to go back or you, they will execute you. And I can imagine him shaking and standing before the king. Your majesty. And the king said, well, I slept and I had a dream. And they say you can interpret dreams said well it is not within my power God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace this is what you saw Pharaoh this is what you saw so what is the solution gather 20% of all of this and save for seven years and when he finished Pharaoh said since God revealed it to you who else in Egypt is able to do this I am Pharaoh and it is only in the throne that you will be second to me you become the administrator right away look up there are many things he would have done when he was in prison when he was in prison 
he probably would have been gathering some money to build his own house and make meaning of his life everything he would have done if he were not in the prison came to him in one day read your bible a wife came in he didn't need to look for a wife potiphera the wife of the priest the priest of on his daughter they gave him free they changed his name they put royal robe everything in one day can i tell you while you are waiting don't be regretting what you would have been doing it is already in the plan the compensation is in the plan believe me when i tell you this the compensation has already been built hear me i know oh hannah that you've been waiting a long time for a child but be patient the child that is coming is not a normal child he is the one who will anoint all the kings of israel so be patient hear me do you know why patience is powerful patience is powerful because it can help you to be able to gather together the kind of compassion you need through your pain so that you will sustain certain results when they come when certain destiny things come too easy there is no memory bank of pain you will be careless over many great things but when you you think joseph had the time to be careless after spending x plus two years in the prison the memory of his pain in the prison will not make him take his job lightly that's why some of us press into this thing of god because we know where he brought us from sit down let's wrap up